like Randy was, I think was a bit of an insult, and I still think it was an insult. Lovely to see them. Randy putting them at walk. The bass or raffia that's plaited into the horse's mane or tail is a traditional Suffolk uh, trait. They're all, they're all chestnut in colour, as I said, they're clean-legged. No feather or hair around the horse's feet, or very little. And Randy will put them at the trot for their second appearance. And Malcolm, if you'd like to come forward into the gap so that Randy can come in where you were, and then we'll work things out from there. We'll work, stay where you are, Biff, and we'll sort you out shortly. And they, you can see the dogs on the back, they keep Randy in order, make sure he doesn't escape. So, the guard dogs, lovely to see them. that beautiful chestnut colouring there. It's a young horse this year, and again, this is one of these, this is a Shire. And this is one of these beautiful Polish replica uh, wagonettes. And as was pointed out to me this morning, that's perfectly capable of being put into a trade class at the shows. And I think the shows are in for a bit of a shock when they put those vehicles into the uh, turnout classes. The reason it's going to be a bit of a shock is that it is a trade vehicle. The wagonette was, if you like to call it that, the handsome cab or the taxi of the olden days, so it was used for a trade in that the passengers would be paying passengers. The horse is O'Driscoll. He's Welsh, believe it or not, although the O'Driscoll would hint that he might be in touch of Irish in there, or Scotch, whichever bottle Tina had at the time. Four-year-old, absolutely beautiful animal that. Medical diagnosis dog charity that we have here today. Oh, he's, he's, Alan's beat me to it. He's put him to the trot. He's young horse, great to see it. But lovely to see these horses working at the trot. from Brookery Farm and to my knowledge it's the first time it's been horsed for quite a few years is that right Jeff? Yeah many years he always David always wanted to have it horsed here at the show sadly he's not here to see it but the rest of the family are and Volga as I say this Comtois horse very very placid very gentle in nature no <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he's doing he's doing very well. And if you if you're back again tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, you'll see Volga horsing a Penzance fish trolley, which is the only Penzance fish trolley left in working existence. So if you want haven't seen it, if you want to go up and come and see us in the horse lines later on. That wagon is over in the horse lines, you'll be come and take a photograph. If you're not here tomorrow, at least you can get a photograph of it. And this is a tumbrel. This vehicle is a tumbrel. 1946, it was built. Morgan, up near London. June. And it's in June. absolutely immaculate condition. 
Malcolm tells that it's going in for full restoration at the end of this season. Well, there's a heck of a lot of vehicles out there that aren't up to the standard that that is, but Malcolm's going to have it exactly right. And the tumbrel is the sort of vehicle that the, the ladders on there enable that vehicle to be used for carrying loads of hay. And obviously, as a small two-wheel cart, you wouldn't get a lot on there. So you put the laders on. These are the frameworks front and back, which extend it. Come on, Flo. This is the first time that Malcolm and Lynn and Flo have been here. So Flo is certainly having a good look around. And Malcolm performs in the harness class and gets very good results there. And in the agricultural turnout classes, very few classes that the agricultural classes that he enters, that he hasn't been number one or at least in second place. But as I say, it's difficulty with agricultural vehicles is that when they were finished with on the farms when they were put in use, they were just left in the hedge bottom to rot. With trade vehicles, with the bigger trade companies, they had warehouses, etc. And what they would do with an obsolete vehicle, they stuck it in the back of the warehouse somewhere. So at least it was stored dry, so it didn't rot out in that respect so much. But agricultural vehicles like this are very hard to find. And it's a beautiful example of a two-wheel cart or a tumbrel. But Malcolm more than happy to stand there watching. And this is Marshall Wilson's Iverbrook Starlight. Um, Overbrook, no, Overbrook, Overbrook Starlight. This is Robert, son. And if you could just do a stand show for us, Robert, to show what would happen in the situation in the show ring. When a young horse is being shown, when it comes into the show ring, it will be asked to walk away from the judge, walk back, trot, oh, that's just the judge for this one. Walk away, walk back. And then turn. And you'll see that Robert turns the horse away from himself. That's the correct way to do it. If you actually turn a horse in on yourself, steady, over steady. Probably my voice on the speaker that's back and just making it a bit And he's got a bit of spirit in him. Robert there will straighten him out or he brings it back down towards the judge. Trot, that's it. That's it. And it's all it is is high spirits, there's nothing more than that. And if you can just back him up a couple of paces, Robert, of course, if you would, the judge would ask for the horse to back up a few paces. And then get it to stand. And you get a horse to stand, you see the handlers will spend a bit of time, the judge will give that time to get the horse standing correctly. And it's a young horse, we'll give Robert the chance to get him standing because it's important. Although he's not being shown today, it's important that the horse gets used to it. And when he... Nearly there. And Robert will tip you the wink when he's... Happy, you're happy, yeah, okay, we've got sides. Give him a round of applause for that, ladies and gentlemen. That's for the horse. Indeed, that's how horse is standing. And it's, you say a horse shows itself off to its best if it stands correctly. That's what that means. If he stands properly, you can see how beautiful he is. You can see the beauty in the animal. Okay, Robert, like to drop back into line. And if you'd like to drop back. Lovely to have him here. Lovely to have him. And he went down to the church with the others to uh, pay his respects to David earlier on this morning. There we go. Beautiful, just give him a chance, a chance for you to see him. David was a great, great lover of the Shire breed and the girls from Rookery Farm done a wonderful job here getting him ready. Great. And if you do a, a walk away and a walk back for us, if you would. What's that, man? And he's wearing, proudly wearing his sash. There's 
Complete trot away for us. Lovely, here we go. Push them away from yourself. Trot. You see this beautiful hanging trot? There we are, look at that. That is stunning. That's a beautiful shire and this beautiful hanging trot that the heavies have. There we go. And just stop him. Whoa. Back him up a bit. The reason the judge asked for that is to show any stiffness or lameness. Sort of like what a stand show does is to show any uh, stiffness or lameness. Come up, show, Cash, come up one. And again. One more, half a one. Come on, half a one. We're going to get one. No, I think that's what we're going to get, but that's it. But here we are, that's beautiful. Thank you, Cash. Dizzy Rafter, 70 years old. Traditional gypsy banner or gypsy cob, recently shown in the Royal Broilington. That one you can trot past me as well. I'll let you. There we go. Good, good, good fella. Lovely to see. Thanks very much indeed, Abanda. That's lovely. And if you'd like to drop back in behind the two agricultural vehicles, thank you. And uh, the gang, if you'd like to move forward, please more modern and these pneumatic tyred vehicles came into uh, use a lot after the war because they were nearly all military wheels that we used and Jane if you could pop over and whisper in my ear when I get it wrong <laughs> which horse have we got which is the which one's Ken got Ken is driving lucky and he's six years old and John who's driving the second vehicle there is driving Beth who is in the, he flies Lancasters, Spitfires, Hurricanes he's flown, he's flown aircraft in the uh, Queen's flight and the all the flights I think there we go and we'll let Ken and John do another lap there but a great great team that represent the working side of the heavy horse very well wherever they go. Beth very well stepping out there. Very narrow these Irish carts. This is the sort of cart that would be used in Ireland to work during the week and then at the weekends when something was on the village green. Please. There down the ridge. Volga, if you'd like to follow on, please. This is the unique Volga, the Comtois, the first Sonic Comtois breed has been here, and that is David Gill's wagon there, our host. Sadly not with us, as I say, but uh, that wagon is his in the arena here at Shavington. David would have loved to have seen that, I don't know. And Ken and John, if you would follow on, please. Here we go. <laughs> what 
got to take me out in a minute, so here we go, figure of eight, how oh, that a musical drive. <laughs> Thanks a million, Randy. Thanks, you, Shaney. Absolutely. <laughs> Keep it going. Okay, on the gate, if you want to swing the gate open, they'll come to you when they're ready. They won't necessarily come to you straight away, but as long as you're ready. And I'm just going to say, taxi! And I'll see you tomorrow with the horses, ladies and gentlemen. We'll come over and see us now in the horse lines. It's something I don't really understand, but they can actually tell whether somebody has severe illnesses, so i.e. cancer, diabetes, things like that that are working internally against the human body. And the dogs are trained to sense that there is something wrong, so you can go in front. That's all right, good. <laughs> well done. And as they come round, we'll put them in the walk, as I said this time. The vehicle is a Polish-built wagonette. It is a, a wagonette as the vehicle. It's nothing new. There are wagonettes that have been around in the horse world for many years. But this is a wagonette, Polish wagonette. We've got two of these here to, this year, which we'll show you the other ones shortly. But they are built to traditional style. But it's got disc brakes, all the modern things that it's needed to comply with all the health and safety pressure in Normandy. I'll tell you a little bit more about the personal breed with another entry that we've got. So there we go. Lovely to see that. And he's built and uses on the farm to exercise the young horses. All Suffolk's are chestnut in colouring. And the two that we have here are Minnesota and Liberty Bell. And the American link, the American names, is that back down the breeding line, the sire is Garrett Lamb's Golden Eagle, who's sadly no longer with us, but he's a stallion that Randy brought in from the States to keep alive the great traditions of the 